slowing down means a lot of gratitude. Slowing down means trust in God. Slowing down means appreciating what's here. What have I been blessed with already? Not focusing on things I don't have or things that are missing right then and now because it's not the end all be all. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Ignite the World podcast. This is episode number 31, Slow Down. I am your host, Jamie Dottie Garza, and thank you so much for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed, would strongly recommend top tier. In today's episode, I want to talk about slowing down. You guys remember that Bobby Valentino song, Slow Down, I Just Want to Get to Know You? <laughs> that popped up into my playlist this week. And this week has been one of those weeks where not only my faith has been in constant trial. I'm in the trial era, era right now, I would say. Actually trying to pass my tests that the Lord has given me. But a lot of it stems to slowing down. And it's humbling because, you know, oftentimes, especially in this fast-paced world, right? It's a hustle mentality. Got to go get it. Got to grind out the end all be all work 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 and i'm not and to give context to this i'm not saying to be slothful i'm not saying to be lazy at all when i say slow down but we need to slow down as humans and some of the great reflections i've had is that slowing down no matter how hard you work sometimes i've said this before it's all on god's timing not ours and slowing down is major, I feel, for us as humans because it gives you time to rest. It gives you time to recharge. It gives you time to be present. Now, when we say present, it's often hard to believe because being present is already the past now. What I'm saying right now at my mouth right now is already the past. And oftentimes, as humans and myself included, often, I'm always thinking about the future. I'm always thinking about tomorrow. I'm always thinking about next week, next year, next five years. When really, we need to focus on what is happening right now. Because just like that, it is the past. I'm a prime example of moving fast pace. And then when it, things are hitting the fan, I don't want to slow down. This mechanism in my head triggers for me and is like very reactive. And I'm thinking like, go, go, go 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 but the more I get older the more I surround myself with the word the more I read my bible the more I read scripture the more I realize all the same messages being taught differently so it can get through in my case my thick skull and slowing down means a lot of gratitude slowing down means trust in God. Slowing down means appreciating what's here. What have I been blessed with already? Not focusing on things I don't have or things that are missing right then and now, because it's not the end all be all. You know, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this example. When we think about our lives, oftentimes we think, and you might have heard the quote, I know I've said it, my life's like a movie. Because everything is going fast. You know, everything is going constantly, nonstop. It's like a big roll of film. Big memory card, if we're talking new era, because who uses film no more? But God sees everything as snapshots. So even though we're going through the motions, good or bad, we got to appreciate that. And... I want to send this message because it's in me. I'm literally speaking from this from the past week. And I want to share this to anyone who out there who may be feeling overwhelmed, who may be having some anxiety about things they can't control, things about tomorrow that hasn't even happened yet. Putting yourself in a mindset where you're putting yourself in a box and it hasn't even happened yet. I'm realizing that's almost like slapping God in the face because who are we to say that we can control everything? The older I get, the more I realize I'm not in control. And it takes a lot of slowing down 
for me to realize that. And oftentimes slowing down is a reset and it's okay to reset sometimes. Sometimes we need a reset. I'm a big video game nerd. So back in the day playing Nintendo 64, trying to beat Bowser and Super Mario 64, Baby Bowser and Big Bowser, I would, it would get stressful. It took me like 18 times. Like recently, I was trying to show my kids I still had it. It took me 18 times. And you know, on that console, there's a reset button. You don't have to turn the system off and on. Reset. You reset, you start over. Take a deep breath. Appreciate for what it is and go in again. Try again. That's how I think about our lives. And slowing down allows us to reset. You know, one of the big things I've realized this week is as soon as you, I wake up in the morning, there's so much to be grateful for. There's so much to be thankful for. There's blessings already. I have awoken. My eyes have opened up. My body is working. My health is working. My kids are still sleeping. I married my life partner. You know, like there's a roof over our head. The water's working so I can brush my teeth. The electricity's on so I can turn on my computer and use the gifts that God has blessed me for the world. And that's before I even leave out the door. Grateful. I want to encourage you guys to slow down out there. I know it may seem like you can't slow down because if you slow down, maybe the money won't come in. Maybe the needle won't get moved. Maybe you won't get closer to your goal. But when we start thinking about the grand scope of things, I challenge you guys to think about your age. Oftentimes, when I slow down, I got to realize, hey, it's okay, buddy. You are only 34 years old. Here I am. I'm not comparison, but here I am thinking the standard of where I'm supposed to be. Well, I guess it is comparison, actually. A standard of what I'm supposed to be at and how I'm supposed to run my business and how it's supposed to be running from someone who's 48 years old. It's a big difference there. It's a lot more experience. It's a lot more wisdom. That's a lot more knowledge. That's a lot more of God pouring in. And God has a plan for each and every one of us. I'm walking in it right now, slowing down. I slowed down yesterday. I was at a wedding on Saturday. I missed SummerSlam with my kids. I went to school shopping yesterday. They started school this week. And it was like 9 o'clock. It was like, hey, do you want to get ahead for the week and finish up this project that could get completed? Or can we do that tomorrow when you're recharged, when you slow down, and appreciate the present and having these moments of watching SummerSlam with your boys. And my little girl. She's about to be 11 months. She's watching wrestling now too. <laughs> it's wonderful to see. I chose the second one. I woke up, re woke up recharged, a lot more refreshed, getting things done in a better headspace. So I encourage you guys to be Bobby Valentino. Slow down. I just want to get to know you. Get to know yourself. Get to know the person that God has intended for you to be. And it's okay. Some quick tips on how I slow down. One, journaling. I've been consistent with journaling. My affirmations, my prayers, my intents, my reflections. Every day for the past, what was it, a few weeks? It's been like a full month. I've been, I've been deep into my journal being consistent. Um, and this bad boy right here, I shared about that uh, a few podcasts ago, I believe. But I've been, that encourages me to slow down because I'm thinking, I'm writing, I'm in the moment, I'm in the present, I'm, and I'm doing this consistently. Another way I slow down is by taking a nap. Now, I have a baby girl, so nap time is essential. But even if I didn't have no babies... I would still try to squeeze in a 20 minutes somewhere just to recharge my thoughts. You know, it's easy to get overwhelmed and overloaded. Sometimes you got to download things. Another way I slow down is by reading. I read often and I read things that fuel me, that heal me. And one of the biggest things and the best books I've read and I'm reading and 
I keep going to is the Bible because I get something new out of it each and every time. It's always on point. It's the book that keeps on giving. No other author can do that for me. That keeps me at peace, you know. When I have fear, when I'm thinking, you know, anxiety of things I can't control, when I'm reflecting on faith, here goes a word for me. And most importantly is just realizing what we can control, what we can't, slowing down to take a breather and to be a better version when we come out of that. Those are some of the tips I use to slow down in this fast paced world that goes even faster. It seems like time's going even faster than it was last year and the year before. I don't think that's coincidental. I think it's because time is a ever ending loop. It doesn't stop. It's infinite. There's no such thing as time because in the internal world, when it's all said and done, when we go back to home with our creator, there's no such thing. That's to me is when you'll be living in the present fully each and every time. That's all I have for you guys today. You guys stay strong out there. Keep fighting, keep being awesome, keep igniting. And remember, we are all like sticks of dynamite. The power's on the inside, but nothing happens until the fuse gets lit. Ignite the world.